Hey, what's up? I'm Josh. I'm one half of Good Boys and I'm a songwriter and a producer. And today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how I approach writing hit songs or just any songs. Um, so first things first, I think that a good song starts from a good idea. And if you're going to be writing a song, you kind of need to go from like what you're writing about. So I've got a note on my phone, uh, which I use every single day. I've called it Chorus Ideas. And I don't know if you can see on the camera, but this is how long the note is. Uh, and it's not because I'm amazing at coming up with ideas. It's because I literally just write idea after idea after idea in here. And I mean, it's still going. It will go on forever. But I've had that note probably for like three or four years now. And it's literally every idea I've thought of for a lyric or a song title um, since I've been writing songs, basically. And the thing which is epic about it is a lot of the time you might not feel inspired when you go to write a song, but you might be inspired when you're walking down the street or reading the newspaper or whatever it is. And if you save the inspiration, when you do come to sit down at the piano, you've got it. Um, for me, what that looks like, you know, I go into songwriting sessions probably five days a week with various songwriters. And it's, you know, you're not always inspired, is the truth of the matter, despite what people tell you. And if I don't have an idea, I kind of just scroll somewhere random on the note and then just stop. And I mean, this says here, like a bad dream that never ends. And then there you go. There's a title, there's a concept, and you can start working from that. Some people are amazing at instruments, but I'm not. So when I write, I kind of just write over the bass notes on the piano. And I just think to myself like, ah, oh, you know, if I write over the bass notes, then you can add the rest of the chord in later on. Um, when I first started writing songs, I had like a little kind of writing mentor and he told me that uh, if you keep the melody within five tones, um, uh, then it's going to be the most singable. So if you're thinking about a scale, like a major scale, if you keep your, or maybe not five tones, but if you keep your chorus within the first five notes of the scale, or within five notes, then the most people in the world are going to be able to sing it because most people don't have a big range. And that's kind of what I've tried to do uh, with lots of our songs. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm just thinking here, so what was the thing I was saying? Oh yeah, like a bad dream that never ends. I always try and say things how like you would say it in conversation rather than like a poetic or um, sort of overcomplicated way. But with this, I would just find some bass notes. Mm. It's like a bad dream that never ends You're like the day when it start again You're like a bad dream that never ends You never end mm -hmm. yeah. And there you go, There's, that's it. That's a hook. That's kind of the whole song. <laughs> and then I work backwards from there. So, you know, you've got your concept, you've got your chorus. They're the two most important parts of the song. Um, and then I would write the verse lyrics um, next and then the second verse lyrics last because they're kind of the least important part. If someone's listened through your song far enough to hear the verse too, they're probably going to listen to the end. So, yeah. The other thing which I would like to say is uh, there's, an, there's a guy called Mike Caron and I don't know anything about him, I don't know who he is, except for he wrote this thing called The Nine Rules of Hit Songwriting and uh, I've kind of used it as like a bit of a... Bible in my songwriting journey um, and you can google it by its genius so he says that you should use expression and actually maybe a good way to do this is if I take you through our song Peace of Your Heart uh, with Medusa uh, it uses all of the nine rules of hit songwriting so maybe I'll take you through that so the first one is you should use expression so for example oops I did it again or like um, the Chainsmokers song Hi or hey, Peace of Your Heart does it where it says, what, sorry, just quickly. It grabs your attention uh, and that's kind of something which is a really good thing to have in a song because it gets, keeps people focused. The second is a personal statement. 
uh, I'm a hustler baby is a good example of that, or I want to love you, something that begins with I. The third is a directive, so telling people what to do. In our song, you could say, show me a piece of your heart. It's in the first line. Uh, the fourth one is asking a question. Uh, I'm trying to think where, where we ask a question in the song. Uh, what if it's, there we go. Sorry just, what, sorry, just quickly, what if it's, there's a question. The fifth one is logic. Uh, so for example, I'm thinking about the Feist song. One, two, three, four, tell me that you love me more. Or like spelling out songs with a phonetic sound would be logic. Um, the sixth one is catchphrases. So never say never or rain on my parade. I did um, a song recently for somebody uh, which is called Never Have I Ever, like the game. Um, so having a catchphrase is a great one. Seven is what we should call a stutter. And we do this in the song. And actually, it's part of the reason it's a hit. So you spread the syllables of one word over an extended period of time. So in our song, it's um, down, down, down. And instead of just having a hook that's like, Da, 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 whatever it is, we've actually taken the sound from down, which makes it kind of less cheesy. So down, 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 da, 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 a down, down, down. So that's the seventh rule. The eighth rule is going back to logic again, but it's kind of antonyms. So for example, um, in our song Goodbye, we use it quite heavily. Is it wrong or right? Wrong or right? Opposites. Uh, and the last thing, the ninth rule is silence and uh, if you put silence in the song uh, because it's contrasting with all of the music it makes whatever follows it and whatever precedes it more important so in our, our hit song piece of your heart obviously there's a, a big piece of silence right before the drop um, where there's just speaking and then silence and it makes the drop hit all the more because uh, you know because of the contrast so I don't know if I know anything about songwriting, but this guy seems to, and I've copied him and I've used all of his rules and uh, it seemed to work reasonably well. So there you go.